August 13th, 1886 is the day John A. McDonald drove the last spike into the Esquimalt and Nanaimo Railway. This year, on its 125th anniversary, the train is not running and there are questions about its future. Dana Hutchings joins us now with Checkpoint tonight. Stacey, work is underway testing 48 railway bridges between Victoria and Courtney. The project is designed to improve and sustain passenger and freight rail traffic. They're also building a walking and hiking trail. But there's been some interest in the railway line standing alone as a rail recreation trail. Bruce Kirkpatrick reports. The last passenger train ran from Victoria last March. Since then, the Island Corridor Foundation has been scrambling to get $15 million to fix the tracks. They already have seven and a half million from the province and are using a half million of that in their engineering audit to determine how safe the e &N railway bridges are. Today they tested the Niagara Canyon Bridge just north of Victoria. A weight load involving engines weighing 286,000 pounds each. Our feeling is that uh, the bridge is sound, but uh, that's the purpose of this. This is all due diligence on the part of the uh, uh, government's infrastructure funding for the bridge to assure that uh, the bridges are in good condition. This rail line between Victoria and Courtney is celebrating its 125th anniversary this year. That's a lot of travel, a lot of freight, a lot of wear and tear. Now the Island Corridor Foundation is waiting for another seven and a half million dollars from the federal government. When they get that, they can fix 104,000 ties along the Victoria Courtney rails and get the trains moving again. Obviously, if you can maintain a freight level, your passenger, le your passenger trains, which are half the weight of the freight, uh, we'll be able to get the VIA passenger service back and running hopefully late spring if we're uh, able to. But if trains are too expensive and tracks too worn, could the ENN rail corridor stand alone as a recreational corridor of Victoria to Nanaimo? Jeanette Klein has worked on both the Trans-Canada Trail and Trails BC. Yes, I think it could. And all over the country this is being done. They took abandoned rail lines and turned them into recreational routes along the old Kettle Valley line. Could it be done on Vancouver Island, complete with walking trestles such as the Kinsole trestle, recently restored near Shawnigan Lake? Trestles are really big sellers for um, trails and for destinations. The ENN Railway, or walkway, may be both as part of the Trans-Canada Trail. And our checkpoint question tonight, should we keep the ENN train line as it is or should we turn it into a recreational trail? There's three ways you can get us. You can tweet us, you can respond on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash checknews or checkpoint at checknews.ca. Stacey, while some people love the history of the railway that stretches from Victoria to Courtney, others would like to see a recreational corridor in the same vein as the Kettle Valley Trail in the Okanagan. Our checkpoint question tonight, should we keep the ENN rail train line as it is or turn it into a recreational trail? Here's some answers from the South and Mid-Island. A commuter train would be pretty nice. I think a train line anywhere around Victoria would be kind of nice. I think they're getting rid of too much of our, of our landmark heritage and keep it as a tourist train. I think we should make it a commuter train, but we've got to reschedule it, that's for sure. I think it's a big waste of money, that commuter stuff. What? <laughs> because the money it's going to cost them, they're going to have to jack the fares up to $20 a person on there. I think they should get it up and moving and they should be able to use it um, as a regular transit system. I think it should become a trail. It would be better for the road traffic. I think there should be a train going up and down the island more often. It would be more efficient for everybody. Become a trail. Absolutely. Okay, I'll come. Um, just the more walking trails, the better. Both. Both? It could be both, yeah. A lot of trails run along the railroad track. And your social media responses. On Twitter, Chris says it needs to be a rail line. Once gone, your chance to eliminate highway congestion is done. Government should put money into it instead of highways. Stephanie says it would be an amazing trail, great draw for tourism. Do it like the Kettle Valley Railway. It would get more use as a trail. Jason Grant says there's lots of places to go to use a trail. Now, how many places on the island do you get to enjoy a train ride? Love the ENN. It's part of our heritage and history. 
And Jennifer Logan has a different take altogether. She says, SkyTrain on Vancouver Island, please. I would use this service. Would you? Something else to think about for sure. And that's tonight's Checkpoint.